Well, hello everyone. This is Dr. Drake 63 here again today. Talk about one of my absolute favorite subjects, and that's the 30 caliber rifle. These two right here don't look like they have much in common at all. They both could be described as magazine fed 30 caliber rifles. The one on the bottom course is semi-automatic. It's a, a, a short barrel version of an AR-15 in 300 blackout, which is the exact same bullet, not cartridge, bullet that you're going to find here. With 30 caliber, as you know, also uh, goes to include your 7.62x39, which you've seen plenty of that from me on my channel. But what we have here today are two 30 caliber bullets. This one here on the left is also known as 762 by 51 NATO. And this is 300 blackout supersonic. So clearly, just by looking at these two cartridges, it's very easy to determine that uh, one cartridge has a lot more power and a lot more range than the other cartridge, given all things being equal. In a lot of cases, um, that's going to be true every time. So why, why wouldn't you always use the bigger one? Well, if you look at the size and the weight, um, you could carry two of these probably for every one of these. So you get that, uh, oh, what do we call that, the, the effect from uh, back when 223 came out. You can carry so much more of it. Well, Here's another example of that kind of, you got a heavier bullet, so the, the change is not as distinct. But we're going to shoot both of these today. And uh, uh, you might notice, those of you that follow me, the Remington 7600, I got that scope down off its very high perch. So one of the things we're going to do today at the indoor range uh, is get this uh, new scope adjusted for uh, as good as we can do, out to 50 yards. And we're just going to shoot this one, uh, which up until very recently I had occupied with a, a, a red dot optic. And uh, my favorite way to shoot this is with these nice Daniel Defense iron sights. And uh, we're, gonna, we're just going to have some fun doing that and see what kind of results we can get at the indoor range today. So, data and other stuff to come. But uh, we're just going to have some fun shooting 30 caliber. Yeehaw. So we took a trip up to Bill's Gun Shop and Range, located in Circle Pines, Minnesota. Okay, so after the scope adjustment, took one shot using this interface at 50 yards. And here we are, about four inches left and about three inches high. So. I was glad to be on paper. Kind of figured that uh, I would be. I was just lowering it. But uh, anyway, so we've got some corrections to make and we're going to see about uh, getting on a bullseye here. Okay, so we made our adjustments and our second shot was here. Wanted it a little bit lower, so this was shot number three. Now, you look at these two and I didn't make any adjustments on the wind inch, so this is just shooter. Okay, now I can start shooting groups and all that kind of stuff, but I'm at 50 yards. And when I consider that I really want this to be a thing that's, that's zeroed for 200, um, I want to do most of my fine tuning at 100 yards or 200 yards. So, inclination to be, well, let's just keep shooting this sucker until we get it dialed in, but I don't really want to waste the ammo. What I am going to do is I'm going to take some shots and shoot a standing three, uh, standing uh, freehand three shots. We'll see how that looks. This right here is where the rubber meets the road. So naturally, and I get a kick out of this, you can see that 
my standing shots you just saw were a really nice little group all off to the left, which has nothing to do with me lining this up off of. So again, we're looking forward to 100 meters. I think that's kind of interesting. And now the moment that uh, everybody's been waiting for, let's, uh, let's shoot some fun gun. Well, here's what I find so interesting is, as you can see, I've got circled the first shot. And that's after mounting the new the, the scope on the new mounts, I should say. And then you see my second shots after uh, necessary uh, adjustments, got the windage going. And, uh, you know, this third shot is about where I'd want to be, probably about right here. I made the decision, let's not, let's not squirt off a bunch of ammo. Let's wait till we get to a range that makes more sense. But as you could see, after shooting the standing three-shot group pretty quick, um, I have to wonder if maybe there's some parallax going on. I do know my scope was dialed up pretty much all the way on this on this sighting procedure. I did not dial it down, and I certainly wouldn't shoot at seven at 50 yards. I'd probably want to be like two or three maybe. So that's possible. Um, that's a heck of a standing group. I, I'm too busy patting myself on the back. Then as you can see, again, it's kind of hard to see. Maybe if, if I put this other paper in front of it, there you go. Um, this, is, this is just when you want to take your time with open sights with that 300 blackout, man. That's, that sucker is accurate as heck. One of these days I'm going to put a scope on there and, and see what it can do because it's just such a straight shooter. So as stated earlier, I'm a sucker for a nice 30 caliber. I mean, they've been the mainstay of the U.S. arsenal going back to 1903. Think about that. That's 114 years. And while it has been replaced, the main battle rifle in the U.S. has been replaced with the, the 5.56 round. You still got your 308s running strong and your various uh, uh, types of machine guns, as, as well as uh, some of the newer rifles, such as the SCAR and so forth, that, uh, that shoot 308. And again, this guy, 300 blackout. Um, so uh, the 30 caliber, there's just no getting rid of it, it seems. And uh, whether it happens to be a, uh, uh, an AR-10, which is something that's on my, uh, my wish list, or whether it happens to be a bolt gun and 30 odd six, a bolt gun and uh, 308, uh, a rifle and 300 blackout, uh, and all the variations of uh, of that 03 case cartridge that are out there. Uh, I'm a big fan of it, and uh, while other calibers have uh, have great great uh, performance and can do things. Uh, that not all 30 calibers can. I, I, I consider it the most versatile cartridge that's out there. And uh, for guys that are reloaders, uh, there's just nothing close to it. So want to thank you again for watching today. Just having some fun with some guns at the range and uh, uh, various sighting and things. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. As always, this is DR Drake 63 Have uh, a great Labor Day weekend.